Hello guys, Bingo Cat here. So today's video is going to be me showing you guys a really old web browser called Internet Explorer 6. Now, for those of you who have never heard of Internet Explorer 6, it was a web browser released by Microsoft for Windows XP, Windows 98, Windows Me, and Windows 2000 in 2001. And it was really a revolutionary browser for its time. It, I don't know what features it introduced that other web browsers didn't have to be honest, but it did become the world's most popular browser, used by about 90% of the earth in 2003 and 4, when it peaked at market share. And because Internet Explorer 6 was released at around the time Netscape, which was another old web browser, be basically became dead, Microsoft more or less became confident in their Internet Explorer, you know, their, uh, you know how they had so much market share and didn't make another web browser until late 2006. And as a result, Internet Explorer 6 became hated by most of the tech and non-tech community alike as it grew on. And then it took probably about forever for people to stop using Internet Explorer 6 and support, I believe, was only discontinued in 2014-2015 when Windows XP and Server 2003's support was ended. And as a result, Internet Explorer 6 was alive for a really, really long time. Now let me show you guys the actual web browser. This, I'm running Windows XP Service Tech 2 by the way. I tried to get this installed on Windows 10, but I could not because it has Internet Explorer 11 installed. Just for proof, oh whoops, I meant to go here. This is version 2002, Windows XP Professional registered to me so click OK get out of here and let's unfull screen this so Windows XP actually supports up to IE 8 and but for some reason when Microsoft when they released Service Pack 3 for Windows XP they did not force people to upgrade to IE 7 or IE 8 so that is part of the reason why this web browser lived for so long longer than you know it should be um Yes, yeah, so here's some more proof. IE 6.0. blah 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 versions, base copyright 2004, etc. And this version, the later version of IE 6, aka the 2004 version, was actually good because it includes a pop up blocker. The earlier version of IE 6 did not include a pop up blocker, and I am old enough to remember that days, and those were not fun days at all. If you wanted 20 pop-ups on your screen for vi from visiting a sketchy website, the earlier versions of IE6 were pretty good for allowing pop-ups. Um, but yeah, this was just MSN.com, which surprisingly still loads in IE6. Um, let's just try some basic sites. YouTube.com. It's probably not going to even open. Because YouTube stopped support for IE6 in 2010. Do not show this warning. Yep, it can't even be displayed, but if you go to google.com, let's go to Google, I thought it would be displayed in IE6, but I guess not, but I bet you anything that Microsoft's own Bing displays in IE6. Yep, so let's do this, IE6 market share. Um, when you s oh yeah, the earlier versions of Internet Explorer were really famous for including these pop-ups. I just say yes. Usage share of web browsers. Wikipedia. Oh look, Wikipedia doesn't even support IE6. But if you remove the S, let's see what happens. Nothing. Okay, what about this? Oh, this site is loading. Yay! So as you can see, Microsoft IE9 as a healthy 7.52%. IE8 is the second most popular version of Internet Explorer because it's the last version supported for XP. And the first version supported on Internet on Windows 7 with 7.52% of market share. Microsoft's latest web browser in the IE series, IE11, released in 2012 or 13, has 23.18% of market share and Microsoft's own Edge only is 3.55%. Now, let's go ahead and find IE6 on the list. As you can see, 
Um, usage share numbers have dropped down to a healthy 0.31%. As late as 2010, it, its market share was something like 10%, 15%. So this is one heck of an improvement. Um, what else can I do? Let's see. As you can see, the interface, by the way, looks very Windows XP-ish. This was their web browser that shipped with the Windows XP, for instance. And it does include features that a lot of modern web browsers has. Like, it does include back pages, example, front pages. It includes a lot more buttons than more modern web browsers. Um, IE6, I believe, does support plugins, but I don't think it supports extensions necessarily. Like, there's no extension store or anything like that. But it does support a lot of plugins, a lot of toolbars. It's really famous for supporting all these things. This web browser is also famous for not following web browser standards. What that means is when it loads a web page like this, unless you use the standards that Microsoft built Internet Explorer with, it would not load fantastically. Like if you load in Firefox, um, it requires it might require completely different code than to load a website in Internet Explorer. Um, but yeah, it has stop, refresh homepage, search, and what is this? Type your question below. Okay. Um, I six market share. Search this computer. What does this do? I think this just opens Bing. That surprisingly still works. It forgot to include the I, but I can live with that because the search actually still works. Um, then as history, a mail button. This will probably just open it in Outlook Express. Um, print, edit with notepad, which is a real, this is a really handy dandy button. Almost wish this still was included in modern versions of web browsers. Then, this is just bookmarks. That's a nice go button. Something that I really like about old versions of Internet Explorer is that if you were to just type, uh, Windows Explorer location, like C, bam. It turns itself into Windows Explorer, even though it still says Microsoft Internet Explorer up here. And you can go ahead and browse your C drive. And let's turn off search here. Show contents. However, if I wanted to go back to Bing.com, it turns into Internet Explorer again. Um, the newest versions of Windows, it will technically still do this, but like if you had to type in Bing.com and uh, File Explorer and newer versions of Windows, it would open Internet Explorer or Edge first, not turn into Internet Explorer Edge. And I don't know why, but I've always thought that was cool. Um, let's check out the file menu up here, which is hidden in Internet Explorer 7 and forwards, but you can still get to it if you want to. Let's see, it gives you can open a new window. Now this version of Internet Explorer was the last version to not support browser tabs. Um, that's part of the reason why people started hating IE, because Firefox in 2004, when it first started becoming popular, had tabs, and Internet Explorer didn't include tabs until IE 7, which was released, once again, late 2006. Um, what else is there? File, message, I believe this just opens up Windows Messenger? When you send email, your name will appear in the from field. Sure, KC, that's my real name. And then, I don't know, uh, I don't have a Microsoft email address. Let's post. Oh, this is, now this is Outlook Express. But once again, I don't want to create an email address for something that might not even work, so you can, there's also a context window, then internet calling. I didn't know I 6 supported this. Net meeting enables you to communicate with others over the internet or you, your local internet. Fine, let's try this. Oh, you need to enter an email. I, I don't even know if this even works. But, once again, I don't want to create. <laughs> let's see, page setup. Before you can perform printer relate. Ah, oh, that's just for printing. And print, print preview. Whoops. Send, page by email pretty nice button there. A lot of modern web browsers don't even include this, and they don't include this either. Um, 
It's really not obvious in modern web browsers how to put a shortcut on the desktop to a web page. Like here in Internet Explorer 6 through 11, there's a create shortcut button, and bam, you can get to Bing from the desktop. However, in modern web browsers, Internet Explorer 6 actually does include this surprisingly. You have to click here, drag it to the desktop, voila, a shortcut is created. But if you're like me and grew up um, clicking this to create a shortcut on the desktop, it's not obvious. Um, let's see what I'll save background as. I also like this button, set as background. So if this actually worked, you can set pictures as your background. Ah, here we go. This isn't included in most modern web browsers, including Microsoft's own Edge, I believe. Um, then there's a nice refresh page button, gives you the properties of the web page. And let's see what's under edit, just find options, view toolbars, I already have the, all the toolbars viewed. And this is another thing that I liked about older versions of Internet Explorer, and I think older web browsers in general, is with the exception of Firefox, the overall interface up here, the web browser, was more customizable in Internet Explorer 6 than it is in, let's say, Chrome. Um, then there's also the explorer bar like favors, history, folders, and then allows you to choose your text size, encoding, source, privacy, there's a full screen mode, and then this is just your favorites. Includes its pop-up block up here, news, add-ons, synchronize, windows update, internet options. Believe it or not, this is pretty much the exact same as it is in Internet Explorer 11. And keep in mind, IE 11 was released over 10 years later. Um, and then there's help contents and index. Internet Explorer 6 includes its very own help file. Um, whoops. Then tip of the day, probably none. Oh, here we go. Did you know to open a new Internet Explorer window, press Control N. This shortcut surprisingly still works in modern web browsers, but actually I'm not surprised because it's a really good shortcut. And then if you try to do a lot of other shortcuts in here, like. Control W, for example, would close a window in Chrome, and it did it in Internet Explorer 6. Yes. Now, um, type the Internet address. I just press Control L. A document or folder in Internet Explorer will op open it for you. Ooh, that's nice. So Control L works. Alt D works. What else is there? Alt Left will go back in Chrome. Oh, okay, that works. And then, Eric Keys, Katy Perry, eh? Whoops. I don't know how they got on it. that got in there. <laughs> uh, how did that get in there? I don't think I copied Katy Perry from anywhere. Um, but yeah, page up, page down. And then... Also, something else that isn't in, in a lot of modern web browsers for one reason. I like it how you can see the scroll bars. I think in Chrome you can see the scroll bars, but like if you go to OS 10.7 and forward, which is, you know, OS Mountain Lion and forward, you, for some reason they don't enable the scroll bars by default, and I like the scroll bars because it can tell you where you are in a web page. Oh, and this is something else I missed. I like the little flag up here that tell you, or the Windows logo that tells you when your web page is loading. And another thing I liked about Internet Explorer 6 is that there's a status bar down here, and then there's, it's telling you exactly what's loading on the web page. Now, it still does this in modern web browsers, but there's no status bar. But it's probably good that there's no status bar because it didn't work half the time or load fully half the time. But nevertheless, I liked it. And there's also a little um, little icon down here that tells you whether you're connected to the internet or intranet, which I also find really neat. And so, my question though, is that can you use Internet Explorer 6 in 2016, you know, a 15 year old web browser? Um, definitely not. It doesn't load any modern web pages, it's really unstable. This is I think famous for being one of the least secure tech products of all time. It was even named that in 2006. And it's really, for the, I think it is a little bit buggy. 
And once again, no modern web pages, doesn't really support modern browsing extensions or add-ons, not secure, it doesn't even have browser tabs. Um, it, I don't think you can theme it like you can in Chrome and Firefox. Um, long story short, I would not recommend using this in 2016 for the most part. I think it was really decent for the time that it was released, um, even though a lot of people criticized it a couple years later, etc. But there's just some features in this web browser that I like, like, you know, I think the overall layout besides, you know, no browsing tabs is pretty decent. Um, and the features that were included at the time this was released was really good and really ahead of its time. Like, you know, I don't know, I used this web browser for so many years. I've used it constantly for nine years of my life. So even though I haven't really touched it in about six years now. And, um, yes, I, I don't... I did try to install this in Windows 10 actually, but it didn't run in Windows 10 at all because I have IE 11 installed there, and this is a 32-bit browser anyways, and my version of Windows 10 is 64-bit, I don't know if that makes a difference, but um, it definitely didn't work when I ran the install file in Windows 10, so yeah. Anyways, that was my video for today, thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you want to see more old tech videos in 2016. And I'm also planning to release uh, new game videos. I recently got the game Mirror's Edge. Hope to get that out there. And yeah, excuse my rambling. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Hope to see you guys next time. Bye.